Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We'll be doing a quick bar inspired workout today with the band. So bands are optional, you don't have to use them, but they will definitely intensify the workout. So grab them if you have them handy. You will also need three or five pound weights and a chair for some mental and emotional support. Okay, so let's get right to it. Place those bands, if you can, along the calf muscle. So right above those ankles, this is gonna be a little more challenging. Option, bring it above the knees on the hamstrings and quads. Still be challenging, you may be able to have your range of motion a little bit more than mine. This is harder. This is still challenging. If you think this is not challenging, just increase your band resistance. All right, guys, let's get right to it. Heels in, toes out. Knees over the heels, hips over the knees, shoulders over the hips, nice neutral spine, tailbone reaches down. So this isn't any position at all in bar. It's somewhere between first and second. I don't know. Keep tension on the band the whole class. So if you don't have tension on it, your band will roll up. So this, no tension. My band may roll up, it's annoying. Take it out, always keep that tension on the band for the best workout possible and least annoying. Okay guys, heels in, toes out, hands go on the hips to start. Just start to raise it up and down. Calf raises to start. Focusing on that neutral spine and focusing on your belly. What's it doing, is it hanging out? Firm up that core, this whole workout. We'll be firming our core so we don't place all of our weight on that bar. We'll stabilize and we'll balance. Fun fact. I've already done this workout once. I forgot to hit do not disturb on my phone. <laughs> my husband called. So my muscles are already on fire. Hi, yi, yi. It's okay. This is really good. I barely got through it the time before. So you guys, right, you're excited. You're like, what in the heck did I sign up for? Keep doing it, you got it. Try to lift those heels one inch higher. One more inch up, lift. Those calf muscles should be feeling it by now. Last four, and then you'll hold it up and give me those little pulses. Last two, now hold it high, little lifts. Think up an inch, 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 up an inch. You got eight more, last eight, six, four, three, Two, hold it high, last eight and six. Those heels go down, last four, three, two. Now release those heels, shift the weight to the left foot. Light grip on that bar, but it's light. Point the right toe out to the side. Now take it forward, keep the tension on the band. So if we were looking at a clock, our foot goes to about 11 o'clock, three o'clock. 11 and three. Light grip on that bar, that chair, whatever it is. Now start to twist it in, twist it in. A little twist, tap, a little twist, tap, a little twist, a little twist. Micro bend in that left knee, our knee is never locked out. Beautiful. Here's your last four, three, two, one great job. Take the hands to the hips and then lift it up and down. But this time tempo, going just a little bit quicker. Hovering the heels, then lifting. Hover, lift. Hover, lift. Last eight and six. You hold. Four, three, two. Now hold it high for eight and six. Those heels go down. Last four. Three, two, now release those heels. Shift the weight over to the right foot. Point the left toe. Keep this center by firming up that core. Now take it over and out. So now if we were looking at a clock, we'd be at one to nine. I did think about that for a minute. And add that twist. And add that twist. Little twist. Little twist. Little twist. A little twist. Eight more, then we get to it. Last eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, last three, 
Last two. Last one. Great job. Let's get right to it. Grab your band. Readjust your band if you need to. Right above those ankles. Try to do it. Bring it to the hamstrings, quads if you need it. Three or five pound weights into that right hand. Bring it to a wide, let's call it first position, about six inches. I have about a foot in between my heels. Shift the weight over to that left foot in all four corners. Really root through the heel from up to that, through that core so you're not leaning one way or another. Light grip on the chair, I know. Okay, bring the right toe in front. Quads are facing up, let's fix that. We will be lifting from that inner thigh. So take the hand to the thigh and give it a nice external rotation. Inner thigh is now pointing to me and pointing up. Okay, raise the right toes off the ground. Right hand comes to a field goal position. We lift it up and down, same time. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift up, lift up, lower down, lift. So if you have that band right above those ankles, you may only be able to bring it a couple inches up compared to if you have it on those hamstrings, that's okay. Are you feeling it? If you feel the quad, you feel the hip starting to come back in, fix it and then get back into it. A lift, a lift, 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 lift up, lift up. Come on, you have eight more. Last eight. That belly's nice and tight. Pretend like you have a string on that inner thigh. That's where you're lifting it up from. Last four, last three, last two. Now hold it halfway. Lift up an inch, lift up an inch, up an inch. Eight more, eight, six, four, three, two. Now singles, lift it up, tap down. Lift it up, tap down, lift. A lift, a lift. Come on, four more, three more, and two, you hold. Last one, now just hold, hold and squeeze. You got it, last eight, six, woo, four, three, two. Take the right toes out directly to the side. Weight goes to heart center. Keep that weight pressed into the left foot. Rise the right toes off the ground. Bring the elbow and right arm to a parallel position above that ground. We lower, then we lift, go down. Lift, 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 Woo. Lift up, lower down. So your tendency is to wanna go into that chair. Hold it stable, arm up that core. You're using your core all the time. You got it, come on, lift. Lower, lift, lift up. Come on, one more set of eight. Then we get to those pulses. Here's your last four, guys. Get that arm parallel to the ground, last two. Now hold, little lifts up, 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 up. For four, three, Two, now singles go down. You should be able to lift that hand off that chair if I asked you. Can you do it? Try it now, come on. You got it, balance. Last two guys, last one, now hold. Eight, six, four, three, two, release that right toe down, turn it towards that chair. Hips are square, slight hinge from the hips. Bring the right toes back. You should be able to lift those right toes off the ground. So option, you can just take it like this, just with the legs. Want more of an option? Challenge. Hand comes right to that right chest, to the outside of the chest. You lift that pinky towards the back room, engaging those triceps, then curl it back in. So you lift both legs and the right arm at the same time. Come on, let's do it. Lift, lift. Lift. What is this left knee doing? It should have a micro bend in it. And it should be on fire. It's working, I know. It is stable, but that means it's stabilizing. It's working those little teeny muscles we don't even think about to help us balance. Can you lift that left hand off the bar? Yes, you can. Eight. Eight. 
four more, then you hold. Four, three, two. Now hold little lifts. Think one inch higher with that hand. Draw that right shoulder blade just a little closer towards that midline. Last eight and six, you go to singles. Four, three, two, singles. Go down, reach, reach, reach. Here's your last four, three, two. Now hold it long, hold it. Eight and six, we release, you got it. Four, three, two, and bring it down. Let's keep that weight actually. Heels in, toes out. Coming into a kind of a second position. Weight goes to the heart, grabbing on the handles. Shoulders over the hips, knees over the ankles. Heels in, toes out. Woo! Catching our breath for a moment. Okay, are you guys ready to get those heart rates up? I think so. We will be jumping. So if jumping isn't your thing, what I want you to do is just step in and step it out. We have two little pulses here. Then we'll bring the feet in, still keeping about a foot in between those heels. So we're not coming back into first, somewhere in between first and second. Four, three, two, one. Take it in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two. Press through the heels, press through the heels. In for two. Out for two, you got it. Go in, two, out, two. Keep that chest lifted, guys. Shoulders away from those ears. Sink that booty low. Two more. Last one, then you hold second position. Hold it, hold it. Sink that booty one inch lower. Lift the right heel up. Lift the right, left heel up. Maybe you need to scoot it in a little bit closer to lift those heels up. One more inch, start to pulse it down. Think down an inch, down an inch. If coming up on the ball mounts of the feet are, is not your thing, release the heels down. This is where I get the shake. I'm gonna go one inch lower. Eight, six, four, three, two. Now hold it. I told you guys, I just did this. Ah, hold and squeeze. Three, two heels down, toes face forward. You're in a regular squat position. Feet a little wider than hip distance. We take it in and out to that jump. In four, three, two, landing softly. In for two, out for two. In for two. Out for two option, you can step it in, step it out. But if jumping is your thing, keep it there. And I want you to sit it back. So you're rooting through the heels. Booty goes back, oh, it should be on fire, come on. Keep breathing, you got it. Come on, four more. Three more. Last two, last one. Then I want you to hold it wide, hold it wide. Heels in, toes out, lift the left heel. Lift the right heel, bring it in a little closer if you need to. Sink it down and pulse it. And breathe. Come on, one inch higher with those heels. Last eight and six, you hold. Four, three, Two, now take it one inch lower. This is what Orange Theory will do to you if you try to work out after. It's like, no, oh, hold it. Eight and six, those heels go down. Four, three, two, release those heels. Great job. Take your chair and just rotate it to the side so you can still face me. Same thing, we'll go a little quicker. Transitions will be a little shorter because you know it's coming. We got to do the other side. Heels in, toes out, six inches to a foot. Neutral spine, everything's in line. Tailbone goes down, bend the right knee, press through all four corners of that right foot, bring the left toe in front, about aligning the front heel with the back heel. 
and then externally rotate that hip. Inner thigh is pointing to me. Mine is pointing to you or to the sky. Think about a string lowering up and down. Field goal position with the hands. We lift and lower, let's get it lift. Lift up, lift up, keep that core firm. If you want a challenge, hover the right hand off the bar. Chair, y'all know what I mean. Lift up, lift up. Come on, work on that balance. You got it. Deep breaths, guys, deep breaths. Fix that leg. The quad is not lifting up and down. It's the inner thigh. Neither is right nor wrong. I'm just concentrating on those inner thighs. We all like to work those inner thighs. Here's your last two guys. Last one, hold halfway. Lift up an inch. Lift up, 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 up. Eight more than we switch to singles. Last eight, six, four, Three, two, singles. Take it down. Down and lift. Down and lift. Here's your last four. Three, two. Now hold it high. Bring that hand to halfway. Just hold and squeeze for four, for three, for two, and release. Left toe goes out. Press through all four corners of the right foot. Engage the core to keep everything nice and straight. Hand goes to the heart. We lift and lower. Leg and arm, same time. And three, two, one. Lift up, lift up, lower down. If you want a challenge, you can straighten that arm. Makes it a little harder. The longer the lever, the harder it is, the longer the lever from that working muscle. Our shoulders are working right now. Lever is kind of short. This is harder. That's why the band closer to the ankles is harder than on our hamstrings. The working muscle is our quads, hamstrings, hips. Band is way down there, it's harder than right on it. Come on, last eight. Try to get that arm parallel to the ground below. Tap that left toe slightly or not at all. Four more. And three, you hold and you pulse. Last two. Hold it up, little lifts. Think up an inch, up an inch. Try to keep it stable, keep it center. Eight more, then singles. Eight, six, four, three. Two, now singles, go down, a lift, down, a lift, come on. We are almost done. You have four more than one, last hold. Woo. Two, one, now hold and squeeze. Right hand off the bar, hold and stabilize for four, for three, for two, shake it out, great job. Hips go towards the bar or chair. Right foot is forward, left toes go back. Slight hinge forward from those hips, from up through the core. Left hand to the outside of that left rib cage. All right, root through all four corners of that right foot. Left toe is lifted. We take it back and in, in three, two, one, lift back. Take it in and tap. Take it in and tap so that right toe has a slight bend in it. Reach back. Reach that arm straight back. Even drawing the shoulder blade a little closer to that spine. Make that full extension so the pinky is long. Arm is parallel to the ground. Come on, just eight more, eight. Six. Last four. Three. Two. Now hold it, little pulses up, think an inch up, an inch up, an inch up. Eight more than singles. Last four, three, two, eight singles, then we're done, guys. Six. Keep those hips forward. Last two. Now hold it back and squeeze, eight. 
and six, you release. Come on, last four, three, two, and bring it down. Awesome job. Let's keep it going. So take that chair off to the side. Grab both of your weights now. Sit back. Let's roll it all the way back down. Draw the heels in towards the glutes. Hands go behind the hamstrings. Roll it down. Root through the heels this exercise. Draw the shoulder blades slightly together. Nice grip on those dumbbells. Place them lightly on the hips. Then raise those glutes off the ground by pressing through the heels. Make sure the knees are not splayed out to the side. Keep the knees aligned with the second and third toe. We'll tap that sacrum down to the mat or hover. In four, three, two, one. Bring it down, then lift. Lift. Get that little squeeze at the top. Down. A lift. A lift. Only eight more. Eight. Come on, draw it up one inch higher. Can you find more air time under those hips? Last four. And three, you hold. Two. One, now hold at the top. Draw the shoulder blades a little more together. Press through those heels a little bit more. Now let's pulse it out. Take an inch up. An inch up, an inch up. It should be burning. <laughs> Let's do eight more. Come on, last eight. Four, you got it. Three, two, now hold. Bring the hands out to a 90 degree position. And reach the arms up, palms facing forward, thumbs almost touching. We lower the hips, lower the arms, then press it up so it's lower. Press, glutes and chest press. Raising those dumbbells right above the heart. A few more like this. Keep pressing through those heels to engage those glutes. Come on, eight more. Seven. And four, you'll hold it high. Last two. Now hold it up, rotate the palms to face one another. Reach the arms out to the side like you're about to give someone a huge hug. Release the hips down. You'll raise and hug it in at the same time. So it's lower, hug and lift. Hug and lift like you're hugging a beach ball. A few more at this tempo, then we'll slow it down to two counts. Four more. And three, you'll slow it down. Last two. Two counts down. Take it down. Two. Lift. Two. Down. Two. Try to hover that booty above the ground. Try not to touch it this time. Lower two. Hug it in. Little chest fly with glute raises. Come on. Keep pressing through those heels. Woo. A few more. Then we'll go to that quicker tempo, but stay with this if you need it. Here's your last one before we quicken it up. <laughs> Come on, eight more, eight fast. Here's your last four. You got it, three, two, one. Hold it up, release the, the dumbbells right above those hips. Little pulses up. Ending with these pulses. Try to find one more inch under that booty. Eight more than you hold. Last eight. Four, three, two, now hold. Lift it one inch higher. Ooh, last eight, come on. One inch higher. Four, three, two, and release it down. Weights go to the side. Hands go underneath that sacrum, palms face down, legs go long. We're getting into those abdominals. Hover those legs six inches to a foot above the ground. We take the feet wide, about mat width or wider. Then we bring it back in, still keeping tension on that band, six inches to a foot in between the legs. Are you ready? <laughs> Five, four, 
three, two, let's get it. Go out, go in, out, go in. So you can keep the head off of the mat. Pit of the throat reaches towards the sky. If this is uncomfortable on your neck, you can take the hands behind the head to support the neck. But if that hurts your lower back and your neck, just take the head down. Out, in, four more, and then we'll double time the speed, but short in the movement. Two, one, now double time it. Go out, 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 an inch wide. Keeping it mat width this whole time. Just one more inch out. For four, three, two, hold that tension on the band. Feet are mat width, lift for two, then lower two. Lift for two, lower two. Lift two, lower two. Lift two, lower two. All right, guys, if this does not hurt your lower back to release the hands from underneath, bring the hands behind the head. This will ensure that you're not using any momentum. Well, it'll help with it at least. So think lower abdominals is where you're holding at the bottom and then lifting up from. Lift it up from. Lower two, lift from those lower abs. What's harder for you, hands behind the head or underneath that sacrum? If you feel any pinch or discomfort, pain, that should not be happening. So y'all stick with this. If you need an option, just tap the feet like this. And then your band's gonna roll up. And you're gonna be like, I hate you, Laurie. <laughs> Cause that band rolling up is no fun. So stick with this if you can. Maybe bring the feet a little higher. If you can lower it down pretty low. Four more. Three more. Last two. Now hold bottom, switch the hands underneath the sacrum. Lift the head off the ground if you can, but to the throat, reaching towards the sky, flutter kick it up and down. Home stretch, guys. About 20 seconds, <laughs> and you're done. My abs are on fire. You got it. Come on, we're in this together. Last eight, six, four, three. Two, one, great job. Hug those knees into the chest. Ah, oh, get rid of that band. Switch the position to behind the hamstrings. Give yourself a few rolls up. And then come all the way up. Swing the legs behind you. Let's hold plank for five minutes. Just kidding, release those hips down. Coming into a modified up dog, quads resting heavy. And give yourself a gentle sway side to side. Releasing one hip at a time. <laughs> this feels lovely. Hold center, chest is nice and open, shoulder blades draw back. As you exhale, curl the toes, press through the palms to lift the knees, shoot those hips up and back. Pedal out the heels left and right. Chest driving towards the quads. Head hanging heavy. Both heels reach towards the mat. Inhale, look up at the hands as you exhale. Just walk it forward really slow. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, root to rise, reverse one, dive it up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Awesome job, guys. Any questions, comments, take it down below. Y'all want something in particular? comment let me know so I can do it for you awesome job today guys if you want more check out my other videos check out the playlist I have playlists dedicated to yoga bar body prenatal postnatal maybe some other stuff too I, I can't remember right now that was hard <laughs> guys have a good one happy Monday Tuesday whatever day you're doing it's a Monday right now so whew, awesome job <laughs>